trip to Silverstone and the meeting that will take us to the halfway point of the Euro Formula Open season. Well, so far we've had a great championship battle between Konstantin Tereshenko and Vitor Baptista. But let's see what happens around the high speed layout of Silverstone. First race of Silverstone as they all surged through the first term. Svita Baptista, who was breaking clear with Yu Kanamaru after Konstantin Tereshenko suffered from a poor qualifying session. Meanwhile, further back, Leonardo Pulcini drop kicked from proceedings after contact with Igor Wililko. Well, Baptista and Kanamaru looking to take advantage of a disappointing day for Tereshenko, and they put on a great show. Kanamaru trying to find a way past Vita Baptista, but the Brazilian looked to have the race more or less sewn up. Behind there was some frenetic action to enjoy three wide into village and the loop on more than one occasion. But amazingly the race was largely clean the odd spin here or there but contact kept to a minimum until the last lap and a huge incident between Anthony Patak and Enrique Baptista after the Brazilian got launched off the sausage curb. Mid-race error from Vitor Baptista was enough to allow Kanamaru to sneak through, so it's the Japanese driver who scored victory in the first race at Silverstone with the Brazilian chasing him home. The Velota team waited a long time for this win for Kanamaru, and the Japanese was delighted to be on the top step of the Euro Formula Open rostrum for the first time. So Kanamaru winning it from Baptista and Alessio Rivera, with Rivera claiming the rookie honours, head of Diego Menchaca. Quite a strong car from free practice and we thought we'd be on a pole but unfortunately we started from P3 and we had quite a decent start and then I was always going to keep on pressuring the Baptista and then eventually he made a mistake and I was in front of him. Finally we won the first race because in the beginning of the day we were really strong and we won the pre-season pre -season race at the poor record and then until then we couldn't win any and then now we are finally here. Really happy with it. Race two at Silverstone was arguably the battle of the season as the two title protagonists, Vitor Baptista and Konstantin Tereshenko, dominated the race and treated us to an absolutely thrilling fight with Yu Kanamaru also in the mix. We all made it cleanly through the early stages. Celestia Rivera also was driving himself into contention. Turning point of the race came as they came through Stowe Corner. Contact between Tereshenko and Baptista. Both drivers fortunate to continue as Tereshenko put up a feisty and redoubtable drive to maintain the lead. As Tereshenko and Baptista battled it brought Yu Kanamaru into the mix. The Japanese driver eventually able to pick his way past Baptista behind as ever there was some fantastic scrapping to enjoy always a characteristic of the Euro Formula Open. Leonardo Pulcini in particular showing strongly in the DAV car as was William Barbosa. It was Konstantin Tereshenko who eventually came through to take the victory just from Yu Kanamaru. Delight for the Campos Racing Team and delight for Konstantin Tereshenko. His excellent 2015 season continues. the rookie class, it was Leonardo Pulcini who scored the win from Alessio Rivera and Diego Menchaca. On to the next stop in Red Bull Ring. Yeah, we start in the, uh, in the grid in the position uh, third and I'm uh, really happy to win. It's My car is it's, uh, perfect in the race but in the quali we have a little mistake and uh, but in the race I am really happy to the setup for the car and uh, for the, my engineer it's really good